Connection Kids Online, I'm Miss Murray. I'm so glad you're here today. We're in a series called Tough Stuff. I have two things here. I have a bag of chips and I have a granola bar and we're gonna find out which packaging is tougher. So let's take a look. I'm gonna try to hit it the same way and go. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, well, I would say definitely the granola bar packaging is tougher. In this series, Tough Stuff is anything that might feel scary, difficult, or hard. We we'll all go through tough stuff in life. And do you know who else went through tough stuff? Jesus. In today's Bible story, we're going to see how Jesus went through one of the toughest things ever. But first, let's check out our memory verse. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you and a hope. of the Bible. Jesus prays in Gethsemane. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms. <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! Jesus was in Jerusalem with his disciples for the Passover. Passover was a festival that the Jewish people had celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. Jesus knew the time had come for him to die, as the scriptures had said long ago. So he went with his disciples to an olive grove 
called Gethsemane, and Jesus said, Sit here while I go to pray. He took Peter, James, and John with him, and he was very distressed and troubled. He asked them to stay with him and keep watch, meaning he wanted them to stay awake with him. Got it. He went a little farther on and prayed. He cried out, Abba, Father, everything is possible for you. Please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then an angel from heaven appeared and strengthened Jesus. Then Jesus prayed even harder and was suffering greatly. He went back to his disciples and they were all asleep. Uh, hello? He said to Peter, Couldn't you watch with me even one hour? Keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to temptation. And then Jesus left them again to pray, the same as he did before. He went back to the disciples after he had prayed and found them sleeping again. Uh, hmm. The disciples didn't know what to say. So Jesus went away a third time, praying the same things again. When he went back to his disciples, he said, Go ahead and sleep. But look, the time has come. For Judas, the disciple who was betraying Jesus, was coming with men to arrest Jesus. Judas showed them who Jesus was, and they arrested him. Jesus was taken and put to death on a cross to save us from our sins. But three days later, he rose from the grave. Huh? hey -oh. ah! He is alive. He stayed with his disciples for 40 days and then went to heaven. See ya! God then sent the Holy Spirit to be the helper as God's people go out and tell the good news of Jesus to all the people of the world. Hey, I'm Matt. And I'm Abby. And we've been friends for years. And we're always looking for new ways to one-up each other. Over the course of this series, we're going to take on challenges to make new memories and win. Well, actually win nothing, but it sure is going to be a great time. This is Purses! Welcome back to Versus, everybody. As the reigning champ, I get to pick today's game, and what a game it is. Oh, man. All right, I'm a little nervous. Well, what is the game we're playing? Today, we're going to be playing Watch Your Mouth. It's actually a quite simple game where each player takes turns wearing their own special mouth guard. That makes it super hard to pronounce even the most basic words. Then we guess what the other person is saying. If you are correctly understood, you get a point. Each player will get one minute to get through as many cards as possible. Whoever gets the most points at the end of the game wins. All right, Matt, make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I, I just know I'm going to start drooling everywhere and it's not going to be pretty. Remember, Matt, as soon as we understand what the other person is saying, we have to guess. No cheating or playing dumb aloud. Since I picked the game, I'll go first. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. You ready to go first? Ready. All right, time starts now. Brown, red, and butter. <laughs> sorry, you're so funny. All right, keep going, keep going. Sorry, sorry, say anything, say anything. Brown, say anything. red, uh -huh. and butter. Brown, red, and udder? Brown, red, and udder. Oh, oh, brown, bread, and butter. Yes. Yay! All right, keep going, keep going. We're almost there, halfway done. Behold the lurry black hole. Behold the lurry black hole. <laughs> Behold the lurry black hole. Behold the burlary black hole. Yes. Yay! Oh, that's time. Oh, that's pretty good. That's actually hard. That's really hard. All right, I'm going next. All right, it's my turn now. I just gotta get two or better. Are you ready? All right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. All right. Uh. Oh. Cool. Uh, arrows. Say it again. Mouthful. Uh, arrows. Mouthful. Uh, arrows. Arrows. Marbles. Ah, Mouthful arrows. Arrows. Hey, All right, next one. Uh, a. <laughs> a long ass tree in the house. A long ass tree in the house. Baby something sleeps in the house? A long ass 
sleep in oh, the Oh, my house. time's up. Oh, man. Oh, it was baby wombat sleep in the pouch. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I got one. All right, well, I got one. You have to, I'd say, one more round to see who takes the win. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. <laughs> ready and go. And oh, I saw. What? Egg, oh. <laughs> that second word. I saw. <laughs> pig. Is it pig? Mm. Oh, big. 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 Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ice? Hey. Big? Uh, ho, ho. <laughs> what? Big la ho ho. La ho ho. Big la ho ho ice. Big, is it uh, ice? Ho, ho. Is there ice? No. no? Big? No. Oh, uh, oh no. time's up. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Well, it's fine. It's a competition. What was it? Big buffalo bicep. Oh, big buffalo bicep. <laughs> One, two, three, go. go. All right. Uh, Baked potatoes topped on marshmallows. Oh, baked potatoes topped, topped on, on marshmallows? Oh, yeah! All right, uh, baseball players at bat. Baseball players at bat? Oh my gosh, let's get going. Uh, you break it, you buy it. You break it, you buy it? Oh my gosh! Uh, there's nothing in each time. Blueberry muffin and tea time? No, peach pie. Oh, tea uh, <laughs> Blueberry muffin and peach pie. No. But you know what? One, two, one, two, three, four. Hey, I won. Oh my gosh, I won. Wow, man, I gotta be honest though. That thing is pretty painful. I mean, it was fun, but ooh, I, I don't know if I like this game, but I do like winning. Don't I know it. So I'll be taking back the belt, please. Thank you very much. Come on. Championship belt, woo! Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're back home. You're back where you belong. My precious. I think I'm gonna wear it like a chain today. Look at this, looks good, right? Man, I thought about trying to give today's lesson with this mouth guard in, but I don't know if I'd be able to get my point across. See, talking with that mouth guard was pretty tough. I won the game, and here I am still complaining about this thing. I don't know about you guys, but I have a tendency to do that. Complain anytime I don't like something, especially when stuff is tough. You know, anything that might feel scary, difficult, or hard, it's so easy to do, and it shows exactly how we feel about something we don't like. But it's not great to keep complaining. At some point, I need to take a different approach. So lately, I've been trying to do things differently. It's not just about watching my mouth or trying to be a more positive person. Every time life gives me something I might want to complain about, it's an opportunity to take that thing to God instead. We don't have to hide how we really feel from God, but we can use it as an opportunity to take whatever is bothering us and give it over to Him in prayer. Jesus talked to God about things He didn't want to do. Shortly before Jesus died on the cross, he prayed to God. Like any other human, Jesus didn't want to die, so he talked to God about how he felt in the midst of his tough stuff. And that's exactly what God wants us to do too, to go to him when things are tough, when we want to complain, when we feel angry, when we don't understand what is happening, when we have questions. We can talk to God. He may not give us the answer we want or take away our problems, but we can trust that he still has a good plan. Even when Jesus asked, God still didn't take away his problems. But we see God's good plan when Jesus comes back to life three days after his death. And he has a good plan for us. Even if we won't see or understand that plan until we get to heaven, either way we can trust God hears us and he wants to answer our prayers. So no matter what tough stuff you go through in life, remember to pray. Keep going to God and tell him how you feel. Thank him for what he has done and who he is. Ask him your questions. Talk to him about everything. He loves you and wants to hear from you. Well, that's all I have for today's episode, but I can't wait to see you all next week for what we have planned next time. So, see you guys next week. Bye. I'm so thankful that when I face tough stuff, God is on the journey with me. 
He loves us and is with us in the good and the bad. God can do amazing things through hard times. Songs can be like a prayer to God, thanking Him and reminding us that He is always there for us. So let's sing the words to this song with our whole heart right now together. When Jesus was getting ready to die on the cross, he was going through a pretty tough time. He knew he was about to die. Jesus prayed and told God exactly how he felt. And he didn't just pray one time, he prayed multiple times that night. What better example to follow than Jesus? Jesus shows us what we can do when tough stuff comes our way. We can pray. If it's important to us, it's worth praying about. We can tell God exactly how we feel when we're happy, sad, scared, angry, and when we have questions. Even when we don't know what to say, we can tell God that. Jesus trusted in God's plan and asked God for his help. God did an amazing thing. Jesus rose from the dead, 
after three days and made the way for us to follow him to be together one day forever in heaven. That is the most amazing miracle of all time. And that was done for you and me so we could be in God's family. Pretty amazing that Jesus would go through something that tough. He did it because he loves us. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for reminding us that we can always talk to you. Help us to remember that you are always listening and that you want to hear what we have to say. Please help us to go to you first in prayer when we are going through tough stuff. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. There might be a tough stuff you're going through that you just wish would stop or go away. Maybe you've prayed about it and you're still feeling sad or scared. Sometimes it takes a little while to see what God is going to make happen when we follow him through tough things. God has also put people in our lives to help us figure things out too. Find someone you know loves and follows Jesus too and ask them for advice and ask them to pray with you. I'm so glad we could be together today. We love you and are praying for you at Connection Kids. Have a great week.